Hello, this is a video tutorial on compiling and viewing your first LaTeX document. In the last video, you should have created your first LaTeX file. We now want to compile that file so that we can turn the markup code into a finished document that we can view or send to others. Underneath the toolbar we use to select file and then wizard, is another toolbar, which will contain a bunch of symbols and then a, an arrow, a drop down menu, an arrow, a drop down menu. I'll refer to these respectively as left arrow, left drop down, right arrow, right drop down, even though both arrows point to the right. Left drop down menu contains options for pieces of software we use to compile our LaTeX code file into a finished product. I recommend using PDF LaTeX as it compiles your LaTeX file directly into the commonly used PDF file format. In order to compile our code, hit left arrow. Note this box that appears in the bottom of the screen. It contains the message log for the LaTeX compilation. If something went wrong, we would see a red error message. But since this is a relatively simple file, everything went fine. Now we want to view our file. To get a preview of our file, we go to right dropdown and select the file format we'd like to view it in. Since for your IA, you'll be interested in PDFs, select view PDF, then select right arrow. The right side of the screen becomes a preview of our IA document. Now, PDF LaTeX is very convenient, but if your IA relies a lot on graphics, especially graphics generated by other programs, it may not always work. In that case, every time you compile, you should go to left drop down and select LaTeX. then left arrow to compile. LaTeX will take your LaTeX or .tech source code and convert it to a .dbi file, a more obscure file format than we'd like to work with. To turn that DBI into a PDF, which is easier to share, go back to left dropdown and scroll down to DBI to PDF. Then, left arrow again to compile. After this, you can simply hit right arrow again to view PDF. Note that this hasn't changed since I haven't updated the file, but if I had, you would have seen the changes appear. Whichever option you use, you can find the red book icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Clicking this will open an external viewer if you have one installed, like the Adobe PDF Reader. From there, it's easy and convenient to save, print, or send your files, even though you can also do so with this print icon and the save button inside of TechMaker. Congratulations, you're well on your way to creating and producing your, to both creating the LaTeX file for your IA and producing a beautiful, well-formatted PDF that you can turn in and share with others.